All right, Alico3. Um, so I, I uh, had a comment on uh, one of the videos in the last few days asking me about cookies from the Melbourne. So um, without further ado, here's cookies from the Melbourne. Three stacks to the left to sift through. Um, I think they're all raw. I think there's one like pro graded Griffey card that I opened up. So I, I went through all my, my mail this morning, a couple tubs. And uh, this, I mean, towards the end, you'll see some higher end stuff, but there's a lot of lower end stuff in this batch. Um, starting off with. Mayfield, that's the uh, 2018 Silverado from Panini Prism. This was purchased raw. I mean, obviously raw, but um, it looks pretty good. So after I do the video, I'll, I'll go through all these cards with, with the loop lamp and light. This is sick. Ed Reed, this is 2002 Elite. It just looks cool with the uh, Miami. So... out of 400 too i think that was 50 bucks I'll, I'll try to give you guys prices i'm not going to post them up it's just too much work um i often post the prices on my psa videos but um with the, the mail bins i'll just kind of tell you what i think i paid this was the uh upper deck legends great futures breeze kind of a cool shot here uh throwing it looks like he's throwing and then falling over or something but 750 that was like 60 bucks this is the hollow from optic brady Top to bottom's off. The right to left's good. I think it'll probably be a nine. If I, and I'll, you know, with the, the the price increase, a card like this, I mean, it's twenty five dollars to grade anything ultra modern. But I think this would be a card that, even even if you thought it was a nine, it's probably worth it to grade. I mean, it's kind of on the cusp. It just that twenty five dollars a card changes everything for me at least. Um, this was a Derek Thomas lot. I think these were around a dollar a piece. So. 25 of them i mean it's like 120 dollars and a 10 and then 25 30 and a nine uh, of course it's 20 dollars to grade any so you should be pretty confident you got a good chance at a 10 if you send it in reggie white love 86 tops it's just it's it's such a challenge and i've been going you know looking at whites bruce smith's youngs jerry rice i, I need to do some uh andre reeds but here's the bruce smith i'm um, trying to find like eight five so um i'll probably send some to sgc too but um man it's tough this set's tough i've been just sifting through sixes and sevens all day long with this 86 tops and in my opinion that's what i think the cards are um you know first i try to find ones that look like they're centered pretty well but i mean there's just so many issues that can arise with this 86 tops so definitely grinding with that there's there's a bunch of 2021 tops in here so here's some paches this is the gold one 2020 out of the year of course 2021 um 75 bucks or so on those here's the pache that's the sp these are like 90. there's the sp the product code ends on the back that's how you tell 30 on the back there um here's another one this is the rainbow foil this was cheap 35 40 bucks I like Pache as a you know as a player. We'll kind of see what happens. His his best tool is supposed to be his his fielding and his arm. Shaq, I mean these are creeping like what forty to sixty bucks raw. Tens are I don't know if that I think they were going like a thousand, but they, they probably dropped back. A lot of the stuff dropped back from last uh, month. But Shaq tops it looked decently centered. I'll have to look at it closer. But I mean, looks like it could be a nine. This is the Tatis, this is the SP sliding into, you would think, third base, right? But S SP 2021 tops. Love the 2021 tops. Black parallels. I just think they have a lot of uh, clout in the hobby. I and mean, you've seen what some of the the uh, rookies have done in recent years, like Soto and Acuna. Not to say there's a Soto and Acuna in here, because different year, different players. But I just think these cards are so collectible. So there's Pujols, of course couple steve young's um just picking these up here and there anywhere from 10 to 40 bucks raw just kind of depends on the condition and the seller but 
mostly in the fifteen dollar range, I'd say on on the young tops rookies. Tatis again sliding. We just saw that one. Here's an ultra modern card, Luca, certified. This was actually snapped out of a BGS eight case uh, with the old label, so um, they used to grade tougher. This one looks like it could be a PSA eight, maybe eight five on a good day. But the future watch, Moss. That's the base one to two thousand. We've got the nineteen ninety Leaf Frank Thomas. These are like twenty to twenty five. I mean, I've, I've been finding them pretty pretty easily in that range. Raw, raw. I mean, it's just crazy how cheap raw cards are and I you know with the price increase I think PSA graded slabs are going to go up even more because it just I mean when it costs $20 to grade anything I think that's going to push up the uh, lower end slabs you know PSA 9s at a price at $10 are going to be a good deal <laughs> that's got like an old sticker like it's in a card store or something but Leaf Rookies and Stars Manning that's a sick card SP Trout 2021 Tops that was like I think it was close to $100 for that card, if you can believe it. Paramount Brady. I, I just showed a bunch of these in my last uh, bulk preview video. I don't I do not do the previews often. Flagship Tops Breezes. I mean, I have some methods that I use when I'm buying these cards raw. First off, I mean, obviously, just look at the picture. <laughs> if, if you see a ding or something weird, you just skip over it. But, I mean, there's a couple other things that I, I filter when I'm doing the raw card searching. Trying to find the uh, diamonds and diamonds in the rough is what makes the hobby fun to me. Rogers Bowman, Acuna SP. Actually, this is the SSP. Yeah, three one product code. So SSP Acuna, three O's the SP and uh, one three is your base. So there's the rainbow foil again. Ultra modern Claxton. That's the silver. A lot of hype for this guy in the past couple weeks, but he's he's got potential in the silver. I think it was thirty bucks for the silver. Love the best. <clears throat> Tried to buy a box of this. I don't think I ever could find it, but the 1997 best David Ortiz in the Rock Cats <laughs> uniform. Here's an optic too, and just a random card that that I happen to win. I don't. I haven't done a lot of searching on the Ultra Modern. I I try to do it and make it, you know, an effort to get buy Ultra Modern, but I always like sway away to what the natural stuff that I like to buy. Donruss threads, Calvin Johnson stuffs on fire. Um, you know the Hall of Fame induction, but Donruss threads jersey to twenty five. It's you know it's not a marquee brand, but um, price was pretty pretty good. Looks like it's got an edge issue there on the bottom, so probably list that in the store and note the edge thing. I, you know I always note stuff if there's like a ding or a, <laughs> obviously a crease, but major things that make the card fall out of like standard near mint, mint range, I I think should be noted. Alexis Lafreniere. I don't know if I pronounced that right, but he's only got like seven points in 23 games. Not that impressive, but he is young. Another Steve Young tops. Here's Dylan Carlson. So um, this is the black. Kid's got a lot of promise. The black to 70. This was around $200. Um, you know, it looks pretty damn good at top top left corner. Never mind. I mean, it still could maybe get an 8.5 or a 9, but it's not definitely not a 10. Um, so probably still submit it. Okay, this is interesting. This is probably the coolest thing in the video. Um, I, I just saw this set sitting there in auction and I was like, nineteen ninety eight SB Authentic Future Watch set. And I was just kinda watching the bids and I looked at the condition of the cards and they all looked, you know, pretty clean. And there's Brian Greasy. But the reason I bought this obviously is the Manning Moss in the Woods and Vonnie Holiday had some good days, but here's here's the Manning, you know, it's just in there. Um, you know, I just took a shot. If, if, if I were to get an eight or a nine on this, it'd be awesome. Tens, you you can't get tens. It's tens are shut off for this card. But um, you know, let's take a look at it inside the top loader. There's a little white there. You know, it, it, the quick glimpse. It looks like an eight five or so, which would be awesome. Of course, Fred Taylor's in here. He'll eventually be in the hall, in my opinion. Let's take a look at the the Randy. So I mean, just cool to see all these cards. Yeah, it looks about like the Manning. I mean, these are in respectable condition. The price was right. I think seventeen hundred and fifty dollars for all these. Um, Joe Jarvis's. Here's Charles Woodson. That's it. That's a pretty good card too. Wistrom. 
There's Ryan Leaf. Amon Green had like 9,000 rushing yards in his career. He was a hell of a player. Amon Green's rookie, kind of weird with the cutoff shirt, though. Um, so, yeah, the f I'm, I didn't collect that for the set. I'm not really a set collector. I just wanted to get the key rookies out of there. and, and I, I might toss the rest into an auction lot or something because I'm not going to keep them. SSP Tatis. Not a huge fan of the photo. It's just, it's awkward. He's like talking to the teammates or something. Jack Hughes. This is the retro looking SPX one. Not, that's 99. I think that's that's modeled after like 2009. Pacific Brady. I actually glimpsed at this one off camera. Took it out of the top loader. It looks damn good. It looks like an 8.5. This set's impossible. Um, of course... The 86 tops cards, I was ranting about how tough they are. I've been picking up the Rices for like 50 to, I mean, I've paid up to $200 for like a raw one that looks good and centered. But, um, you know, that's just tough to find them when they're not like in five to seven range. That, that That's what I'm seeing with these. But it is challenging, and I want to eventually get like an 8.5, so keep hunting. This is like a neat SP Authentic Brady 2004 SP game. Use gold to 100. It's an interesting card. I was kind of surprised I, I took that one down. Another Future Watch Woodson. This was snapped from a BGS 8.5. I, I put most of the cards in top loaders for the video because it just looks the best when I film. Less glare. This is the SP Casey Mize. I mean, in my opinion, this 2021 tops checklist is just it's strong. You know, I mean, there's a lot of guys that could definitely break out. And you only need a couple for the to carry the product. So that's kind of the way I see it. Another Leaf, Frank Thomas. This is this is neat because um, it's like $150. That's an absolute steal. SP Authentic. This is the Future Watch Gold. There's only 100 of them, and I, it's LT. So I was shocked I won that for that price. I mean, there's just auctions that fall through the cracks. Ultra Brady. Yeah, I already looked at this one. It looks like a seven or an eight. Nothing special about it, really. There's another Tatis SP. These are pricey, like 175. Th this is the Sorry, that's the Tat Tatis SSP, and this is the Judge SSP, I believe. Yep, that was around 90. It's like a close-up photo. Um, Pache, so there's a lot of Pache in here. It's not like I'm a huge... I'm not going to tell you guys, invest in Pache like all the other channels. Uh, who to flip this month? My top five flips in the past week. Here's Griffey Pro. These are a pain in the neck to snap. It's like the the material is just different. It kind of bends with you. It doesn't crack. So I mean, these are just almost worth it. Just <laughs> just put it back in auction and not try to not snap it because it hurts the elbow after a while. Uh, Pacific Paramount Brady. I think we saw that one. This is all right. This went dirt cheap because the person that listed it did a terrible job. They just put like 2007 Calvin Johnson Auto, and that's it. They didn't like to put the number in or the set. But I think it was under $100. But it's the Leaf Rookie and Stars to $100. Um, it is beat up. you know, Not beat up, but it's it's like a 7. It looks like a 7. So I don't, th I don't think I'll send that. This was neat. Ed Reed Sweet Spot. It's like on a, the football textured surface. 2002 card. That's a to four fifty. Just an interesting card. You don't see a bunch. Here's another Mize. S this is the SSP. that's that's kind of a lame photo i didn't buy this like to collect i just was going to try to grade it and get a 10 i'll be honest with you guys uh bichette that's the tops update sp that the the sps kind of add some value to that 2020 tops update set which is just extremely weak which is you know because of the shortened season and call-ups and stuff but but that also made the 2021 tops product so strong because they didn't put any of those players in update because they, they really didn't have time uh hollow brady Again, off top to bottom and right to left. It's probably an eight. I'll probably just run that one in auction, see what it goes for. Tomlinson, the rookie watch. Not star rookie. Flagship Breeze. These are 60 to 100 raw is what I'm targeting them at. And uh, just look at the photos. I've, I've dealt with that set so much, I can kind of tell where all the flaws are. After you deal with these sets so much, you just kind of know exactly what to look for when you're looking at listings. Uh, Young Guns Jack Hughes, like 75. 04 tops Fitzgerald. So I mean, I, I just went crazy on raw cards, building out some more PSA bulks. This is this is where it starts. So let's start with these 
There's some Brady's, Griffey's, and there's a Peterson. So here's the Peterson. <laughs> it's got its little thing on. Eight snap means uh, if it doesn't get an eight, I'm snapping it and sending it again because I, be I believe the card deserves an eight. What else we got? Okay, I, I want to keep these in order. Pros and prospects. This one was purchased raw. Huge card. Um, I think a, a nine went for over six thousand. So just enormous secondary values on these Brady's lately. Donruss is one that's incredibly difficult. I, I actually sold an, a PSA ten of this to uh, I think Tampa Tampa collectors a couple of years ago for like I think it was like two thousand or less. I mean that card's got to be close to ten thousand now. So, but I mean that's that's the thing. Like when I sell cards, I don't after they sell, I don't really look at the values because the market changes so much. I mean. Stuff's going to go up and down. When, when you sell a card, you, you you just sell a card and you move on to the next one. Trying to time like peaks and valleys is, is impossible and trying to see the future and stuff. Just take the market for what it is at that day. Um, that last one was the certified. This is the Leaf Rookies and Stars. This, this might be my favorite Brady from 2000. I mean, it's it's definitely top three. It's just cool looking. And it's, you know, it's a, there's only a thousand of it, so... I think there's about a thousand of the contenders auto, if I had to guess. Here's the Ionix. This this card's sick. I used to actually drive, not drive, but I was like, I think I was 15 when this set came out. It was like summer of 2000, and I would take my bike. There's a gas station like probably a mile away, and I would go there, and they had these packs, and I would get some packs, and the 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 uh, rookies were always the last card on the back so you'd open up the back and if you saw this design like this green then, then you knew you had one but of course there's like 50 guys in this set so pulling somebody noteworthy was tough i mean at, at that time it was you're hunting for like ron dane peter warwick uh chad pennington guys like that brady was definitely an afterthought leaf rookies and stars this is a print of 230 great card um it's got shipping looks like an eight this is going to be a 10 snap because um, I actually snapped it. You know, s some of these I snapped from Beckett cases and put them in top loaders just just for the video. But they'll uh, eventually go back into card savers with their uh, predicted grade. But this was a Beckett 9.5 true that it should be a PSA 10 if it's graded fairly. So kind of see what happens with that. A bunch of these Griffies all from the same seller. Um, it was just great. All these cards, I could just tell that the seller took care of them, and they they look nice. And it's just, and plus it's somebody that doesn't grade. So I was like, these are some great slab cans. So this is the Pinnacle Artist Proof. Heading for the Hall, five thousand print. Not not really the coolest card. It's got the the die cut look kind of with that curve. This is uh, the statistical standouts. I believe ninety. It's ninety six. Choice golds are tough. Choice, um, and this is the gold signature. It was only like twenty bucks, so that's that's a great buy on this one. Looks pretty clean. I think eight five to nine range. Um, the elite. This is. I think it's ninety four. Yeah, ninety four because it says ninety three because they kind of. I think they started to produce these like fall of ninety three, and then they didn't come out. And then they came out sometimes in the like the late fall, early winter. I think. Could have been like January though. Um, top Stadium Club first day issue. This is uh, an interesting one. This one looks great. It's clear acetate. I think I had a couple of these in my last preview video, but this looks like it should be a 10. That's the Home Run King from 97 Ultra. This one's kind of beat up. I was kind of debating whether or not to put this in the store and just sell it as near mint mint because that's kind of the condition it's in. Or send it and probably get in like a 7, 5, or 8. It's the electric diamond gold. It's just, I don't see these very often. I want to eventually get an 8, 5, or 9 f for my Griffey collection, but I'm probably just going to put that one right in the store and not grade it, actually. Here is the uh, hitting machines. That's 97 again, so some cool inserts came out of 97 Ultra Baseball. And uh, last, I'm going to end with the, with a uh, banger. So last week we had this card in the, the bulk, and I came across another one that looked centered. I mean, I had to pay it. I think I paid over six hundred dollars for this card, which is a lot for a raw card in this era of the hobby. But I, th I think it's going to be worth it. So, um, 
95 finest refractor Griffey. And I looked at this one with my gloves on and stuff, and it's it's really good. Um, the back centering is good as well. I mean, that's, that's within 10 tolerance, in my opinion. The right to left is good enough. The top to bottom is good enough. Didn't have any, I I actually peeled off the front, so it didn't have any scratching. And it was kind of it was tougher to get this one off than most, but I peeled off the protector. And I mean, this should be a 10. It's not. It's just a pop controlled nine because gorgeous. So that's it. Um, cool stuff. I'm gonna sift through all these and see what cards are going off and what cards will not make the cut. That's it. Later. Take care.